Hey YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to change your login screen wallpaper. If you didn't know, this is your login screen wallpaper, this area here when it's locked or when it's first logging on. Um, to anyone who watches my other videos, if you see that everything is different on this one, it's because I'm currently in a virtual machine, because that's the best way I could show this tutorial, because any other way it wouldn't show. So to start, go to Google Images or Yahoo Images or whatever you use, and, so, and find a wallpaper. This wallpaper needs to be your screen resolution size. What's that? Um, to find this, go to your desktop on Windows 7 or Vista, right click and then click screen resolution. Where it says resolution, this is your resolution unless you've... That's usually your monitor's standard resolution, so just go with that for best results. So mine's 1024 by 768. So after I spell wallpaper right, go to the size, on, this is on Google, I don't know about Yahoo. Click the exact exactly one or wherever it's pronounced and type in your width and then your height your width is always the first number then it's height on nearly any machine i can think of um then th pick an image it really doesn't matter about um the file size of it because i'm going to show you a little technique and like after this to make it so it's easier like smaller so, for this example, I'm just going to get that one because it looks better, even though it's Vista. Boo. Um, save that image um, when it stops lagging. Save. And call it um, anything you want. Background default, that's it. Background default. I hope I've spelled it right. This just saves for later. So, if we look at this, it is currently... 242, oh, I don't need to sign down. Well, if your image is bigger than 256 kilobyte, then you need to get an image what's smaller, or you can just right-click it, edit on Windows 7 so it opens with paint, save it, and that's it. It's just decreased in file size. I don't know how that works, but it does. Look, mine's been halved, so it will help. And if it doesn't work, open it in Photoshop or something, resave it as a JPEG, but turn the quality to about 5 or 6. You won't notice much difference and it'll massively increase the file size so it's un really small. Right, um, after that small rank, go to Start, type in Reg, Edit, and open that up. Click yes. You might you might need to be an administrator to do this one. Go to H key local machine, then software system. No software, yeah, software. Click Microsoft. Scroll all the way down, make this big for you see. Um click Windows and then click current version, then click whatever that word says, authentication, um, then click login, log on UI, which stands for login user interface, click background, right, um, then it'll come up with this, um, next, if you don't have this OEM background, just, right, just to make sure, right, new, right, left, right click, new, and then click D word. If you're 64 bit operating system, still click D word. I don't know why, it just click D word, it works every time. Call this capitals OEM, capital B, and then background, like so. That will be in the description if you want it to be, I don't know. And then double click it and change the value to 1, and then click OK. Now that's all that bit done. Next, go to start my computer. Go to C, Windows, um, scroll all the way down to System32, and then click O on your keyboard and look for OOB. I'm pretty sure that should have an N on the end, beginning, but never mind. Um, go into that and then create a new folder here. Call it Info. Yes, I want to continue. Call it info without any capitals. 
go into that and make a new folder backgrounds no with an s no capitals and drag your background default into that folder and i'm pretty sure that's it so lock your computer using windows key then l or click lock and there you go um i really really hope you can see that uh, but if you can't um basically my desktop wallpaper has been changed so, well login screen wallpaper so that's it for this tutorial um thanks for watching and please like comment and subscribe thanks see ya to me again um just a quick legal reminder again microsoft don't like you messing with their stuff so don't so like you can do this because loads of people do it and microsoft never said anything I'm guessing they got sick of telling people but um don't do this on like a college machine or something well you have to be administrator but still um this is for your educational purposes um hope it worked for you thanks for watching